What's up, my super fans? My name is Jamie Ricky Rivera, and today is the day of the first episode of TNT. And if you don't know what TNT stands for, it stands for Tuesday's New Tips. Now, what's going to be containing in these wonderful magical videos are stuff like how to green stuff dolls and how to make che how to make eyeballs for a lot cheaper without using resin and stuff like that. You know, what paintbrushes do I use? What paints do I use? And how I will, how I would use them. Um, so, also before I continue, there'll be I will not be uploading videos on Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, and Mondays. Now I know that's a whole four days of no content, but you'll be getting content on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. I might up up another day depending on how this series goes. But hopefully you guys will enjoy this and I'll be enjoying making these and I'll see you in the tutorial. Enjoy. So welcome to the first little kind of tip and trick. It, this video won't actually be this long. But since it is the first video, I want to get you guys started with the first thing that all doll repainters do. And that's stripping the face. So yeah, stripping all of this, all of this factory paint. Now, normally I don't normally strip. I normally kind of just like go around it and then work out of from there. But I want to show you guys how I would actually take the factory paint off. So, the pretty much the things you need. You only you need three or three things: the doll, Q-tips. And I use 99.9% acetone. Um, pretty much it's the stuff that you do find in nail polish removers just to, you know, get these little colours out of your fingers. But I use it to take the colour out of the face. Well, the face piece. I blame Raz for that one. Anyways, so, what I do is I start off with the more of the complicated bits to get so like the inner eyes and then the lips those seem to be the more um, difficult bits to get so what I do is I press and then I twist so you can see that's come off straight away like that like so so then we'll start on to the mouth now what you can do for this little trick here is you can squeeze the vinyl head and kind of try and get into those little crooks and crannies that not normal not normally you'll be able to get if you didn't squish the head now try and get all of that paint off uh, elf what the hell is elf <laughs> funny word now try and get all of the things off as much as possible and as cleanly as you can possibly get it so that's the lips and the inner corner stuff so next thing on our list is to take off the little kind of, um, so pretty much the outside of like the eyes, you know, and the eyebrows. So if they have any facial details, such with Frankie, she has like these little stitches and stuff like that. You go in and grab that and take off the eyebrows as you can see. Right, I'm going to do this one the same way, just, just take off the eyebrows make them look like me with no eyebrows whatsoever <laughs> I'm pretty much an egg right so now your first earbud is done I normally use around about five earbuds or q-tips so now it's the take it off the actual eye part so just twist them what I do is I go around in circles if it's just moved from the camera I am so sorry I haven't particularly got my camcorder yet, so that is next on my list. So, this one had glitter on it, and glitter was very complicated to try and get off, especially when it comes to repainting dolls, because you don't want little itty bitty tiny bits of glitter on there. But as soon as you get kind of the bases done, you can go in with another tip and just clean it right up. Make sure you soak that god forget sake and glitter into 
you know, with acetone and just rub it right off. Like a, like 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 you're erasing a mistake. Just just rub it right off. Just right off. It's okay. Um, usually, actually, it's not very often to be honest. That acetone does not affect the dull hair. It doesn't affect the actual final face, but it's better if you do clean it with soapy water afterwards. And now I'm putting black dots on the back of on her, which is going to take more work to get off. But if you're doing kind of this, kind of like, okay, if you do this bit and more down, it more than likely that it's gonna it's gonna melt you due to the fact that acetone does not like plastic whatsoever. It will just eat through it, like like I eat through KFC, like just just for example. <laughs> um, so. Now you just kind of clean the face off, make sure the face is nice and pristine and clean, ready for you to change her into something else. But if they do have body details that you really don't want, just kind of, look, just an example, just, I like to quickly go over it. Very, very small and quick. And then what I do is I'll get another air button and just try and dry it off, try and make it as not dirty as possible, and then that's pretty much I do it very quickly. So make sure that every single bit of paint of her is off. And that's how you remove a doll's face. Now I know, again, I know this was kind of a very simple type of tutorial but it's the first steps on actually repainting the doll is kind of getting rid of the face and making her nice pristine and clean so hope you guys enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up also leave a comment down below if you have any additional questions and that you want me to answer got you got you to do with this this particular series here Make sure to leave a comment below in this video and I shall answer it on Thursday when it comes for the Q&A. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, en I enjoyed making it and I will see you in the next Dottie video. Ciao!